Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I am going to do an 18 by 24 canvas and I'm going to go back to something I really loved doing a while back. I did a what I call a large scale ribbon pour and it was in turquoises and a little white and a little kind of gold color not metallic gold but just a golden color and I thought I am ready to do another one of those because it really came out cool. I love the design. So today I am going to use Artist Loft white flow acrylic and then the rest of the paints and everything is mixed one to one with flood flow troll latex based which means it's water based you always want to go with water based everything is a one to one ratio and the colors I'm using are white artist loft violet this is creative inspirations metallic copper and I cut off the end of it to get every little bit of copper out of that liquitex basics deep violet and my favorite Vintage Brass by Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. Love this. So I've got everything mixed one to one. I've got the Vintage Brass, the, the Deep Violet in Liquitex Basics, which is kind of a reddish purple. And I have one left to mix. This is the Violet from Artist Loft, which is a darker purple. So you notice how one company will say deep violet and it's not as dark as another company's violet. So you just have to uh, kind of pick and choose your colors and whatever color scheme you're going for, that kind of thing. So again, it's just a one-to-one -one ratio of paint to flow troll. The variable will always be the water with any brand of paint. It doesn't matter what brand of paint you use the variable is always the water, not the medium, the flow trawl. So with two paints, they're always much, much thicker than craft bottle paints. So you always have to add way more water to two paints than you do craft bottle paints. Sometimes you don't have to add any water to craft bottle paints. So it just depends on the brand of paint that you're using. And I am specifically not going to add silicone to these. I'm not going to add it to any of the purples or the vintage brass. The copper, I had some other copper mixed. It does have some OGX or something in it, so it does have a little bit in the copper. I really don't want any, but I'm going to go ahead and go with it because I already had some copper mixed up. And I didn't have enough in the tube left to mix uh, enough for this painting. So I had to use what I already had mixed up. And I've got this cup pretty much to the brim here. I have my canvas. It's got push pins underneath to keep it off the table. It's still a bit thick, but we're going to go with it. And the water, the water is in my, my red ketchup bottle always. So I'm going to open up my cat treat container. And put down a white base coat. And the Artist Loft White is mixed one to one with Floetrol. And then water is added. The Artist Loft black and white flow acrylic in the quart bottles are not fluid enough to just pour straight out of the bottle. They're called flow acrylic, but they're, they have to be mixed with a medium in order to get them to really flow. They're too thick otherwise. So my goal with this white paint is I just want to cover the primer. And this is actually a linen canvas. It's a nicer quality canvas. So if you turn it over, the canvas almost looks a little bit brownish. And that's when you know it's linen instead of 
a regular canvas which is cotton. So this is actually a little better quality canvas but the primer is always a little deeper than the white artist loft. The white artist loft is thicker, I mean brighter. So I'm just kind of making sure I've got my white to go over the edges a bit. And I'm pouring inside of a kennel puppy liner, which is in my Amazon link, where you can do a washing machine tray liner. So that's the plastic container that's on my table, and then I have just a plastic tablecloth, a piece of one underneath my um, canvas to protect the table. So the way I like to do a large ribbon pour is I use like an old Tupperware container and I'm just going to start with a little white that's left in this bottle. I go with the deeper violet color, the other violet which has more red to it, it's a reddish violet, put in some copper. Some vintage brass. Now I'm going to go back and add more paint. I'm trying to decide if that's enough. I'll put just a little bit more of the brass right there. And I see a lump in my paint, which fortunately I got it out. So with this style, you just start on one end and finish on the other end. So I'm going to put my container down at an angle that I want that paint to kind of pull in the corner, so I'm going to let that do that. So this, I love this, and I love the colors together. So unfortunately it's got some cells because of the copper, so I can't get my way around that one. I'm going to pop bubbles. My goal is not to get cells, I'm just popping bubbles. So I am going to tilt it this way just to get a little of that to go over the edge. I really don't want this to move much, but I am going to tilt a bit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use that in the thing because I don't want to. Uh, it's gotten to be too little paint, and I need more paint. So I'm gonna take me a bathroom cup, a three ounce cup. Start with a little white. Let's see. I'll do the reddish violet color. 
Then the deeper violet, some of that brass, and just a little copper, a little bit more white. Back to the purple. I've got a skewer here. I'm going to swish through this a couple of times just to kind of mix it a bit. I'm going to tilt that again. So now the only thing is this area right here. I would really like to see more purple or over this area. So I think I'm going to put a little purple down here. I'm just going to use a piece of paper and actually I'll just tear it so that it's only about the width of the purple. that brought out more cells but hey and I'm gonna blow it a little bit And the, the gold is spread over the dark purple, and it, so it makes that purple shimmer really beautifully. <clears throat> I kind of wish I had some copper over here, but mm, I can't really do anything about that. I am going to put a little copper in this bottom of this cup that's already got some paint in it. Swirl it a few times. I think I'm going to go right back through here again.
So if there's an area that you want to mess with and it's starting to dry, you've got to add that white back beside where you're going to play with so that it'll move. Otherwise, it's not going to move if you try to do anything with it. Okay. This looks, I think, a lot better. You might have wanted me to stop at the very beginning, but um, this color combination is so beautiful together. I just wanted to to keep enhancing it. So I think I have it where I like it. Um, pull out a few more like whimsical. I don't know, it reminds me of like a dragon or flames or you know just something kind of like that when you kind of bring out these wispy things. To me it just feels a little bit more organic. And when I mean, when I say organic, it just means like earthy. Like right here. I'm going to add a dot of paint and I'm going to go around the dot with some white which had turquoise blue mixed in. That's okay. That's from dipping your bottle into something that has some color in it. So I'm going to take the purple and draw it back into here as if it were a something coming out from there. And then I'm going to take my straw and blow. That way it just kind of feels like there's a bloom of something there. This is just like right in my happy zone with the colors, the purples. I love purples. It feels like a royal the dynasty to me or something like that. So I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it lengthwise. I'm going to zoom out just a bit. So I think you can see all of it that way. But it has, it's just a beautiful combination of colors. I love the colors. And I don't like this hard area right there. So I'm just going to blow into that a little bit to break up the edges. Some beautiful drips on the tray. So I think I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell in the bottom right to get notifications and check out all the links below the video where it says show more on your computer or the down arrow on your mobile device. You will get a list of colors and there's links to my PayPal, my Patreon, my Facebook group, my new tutorial platform called Embrace Your Creative Spirit. There's a link there to go check out the tutorials that I am starting there on acrylic painting. So come join me there and, and find some classes you'd like to take. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.